An undocumented immigrant whose arrest pushed an Illinois town into the center of the national immigration debate has been freed from a detention center. Juan Carlos Hernandez Pacheco was released yesterday on $3,000 bond. Immigration agents took him into custody last month. His detention led to an outcry from residents and elected officials in West Frankfurt, and many of them are supporters of President Trump. The president won the county with more than 70 percent of the vote. Anna Warner is in West Frankfurt, and she spoke with Hernandez just hours after his release in an interview that you'll see only here on CBS This Morning. Anna, good morning. Good morning. You know, about 8,000 people live here in West Frankfurt, and judging by the response to this, many of them know this man, Juan Carlos Hernandez Pacheco. They say he's an important member of the community. The question is, will he be allowed to stay? The community of West Frankfurt raised money to bring their friend home in style to his family after nearly three weeks in detention. How are you doing? Pretty good. He's an undocumented immigrant they claim as one of their own, Juan Carlos Hernandez Pacheco. First of all, I think I need to be grateful. Because why? For all the support. His friends, Tim Grigsby and Mark Williams. We've known Carlos for over 10 years. He's one in a million. I think, you know, if you were going to model someone off of, you know, whether it be your, your own children or yourself, I mean, he's that type of person. Hernandez has lived in southern Illinois for nearly 20 years. On February 9th, immigration officers arrested him at his home. They were looking for someone else, but found he was here illegally. Did you ask him why? For my previous record. In a statement, ICE pointed to Hernandez's two convictions for DUI in 2007. He's now sober. But under the previous administration, experts say those misdemeanor offenses likely would not have gotten him picked up. And people here, Welcome home. many of whom came to greet him last night at the restaurant he managed, wrote letters of support. The mayor, police officials, and people he's helped with fundraisers and donations. This is a person that I would that I would put right there on that pedestal. Everyone should be looking at him going, you know what, I need to be more like Carlos. Under Trump administration directives, experts say he's also now the type of person who may be deported. When Mr. Trump talked about deporting more people, who did you think he was going to deport? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, it was murderers, rapists, and, you know, people like that. Well, that's obviously not Carlos. Hernandez himself says he doesn't blame the president. He's protecting the country. I got three kids and a wife. They're American citizens. I do believe he's doing the right thing. He's protecting my family. He's protecting your family, even despite what just happened to you, you think that? But that has nothing to do with him. I don't believe that. I don't believe that he focused on me. I'm not a target. I don't feel that way. Well, for now, as we said, he is out on bound while his application for legal status works its way through the immigration system. His lawyer told us that he's hoping that Carlos has a good chance because his wife is a U.S. citizen, as are his kids, of course. Anthony. Very nice to see the community support for Amanda. Thank you.